For years, conservatives have rightfully complained about runaway courts, including the Supreme Court. But through all the gnashing of teeth against judicial tyranny, conservatives did not advocate changing the court itself, just its occupants. But now, some on the left are mad at the Supreme Court because of some recent conservative decisions. So they're trying to seize power from and reshape the judicial branch. For example, they want to impeach justices like Clarence Thomas or Samuel Alito because of their conservative opinions. They also want to impose term limits on justices. This could undermine the independence of the judges and cause them to base their decisions purely on the shifting winds of politics, not what the Constitution says or the Founders' intent. Conservative scholars are pushing back at these recent proposals to gut the court. Kelly Shackelford, founder and director of First Liberty, says, quote, transforming the Supreme Court into another partisan body would destroy the independence of the judiciary and threaten the civil liberties of all Americans, end quote. One of the brilliant aspects of the founders and the Constitution is the division of power because man is basically sinful so that no one person or small group of persons could lord it over the others. James Madison, a key architect of the Constitution, warned us in Federalist No. 47, quote, the accumulation of all powers, legislative, executive, and judiciary in the same hands, whether of one, a few, or many, and whether hereditary, self-appointed, or elective, may justly be pronounced the very definition of tyranny, end quote. For Coral Ridge Ministries, I'm Dr. Jerry Newcomb.